Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Josh here with Everett Chevrolet. We are talking today about the Blazer EV and the Equinox EV. These are two new vehicles to our lot, and we just wanted to highlight the features that you get with these EVs, as well as kind of the driving experience with them. I just wanna first state that Chevy's version of the EV is not like Tesla's at all. When you step into this vehicle, you're gonna feel like you're stepping into your regular internal combustion engine vehicle. So there's gonna be a gear shifter, there's gonna be an accelerator pedal, there's gonna be a brake pedal. All those things also are in Teslas, but you're gonna have your environment controls, you're gonna have an 11 inch display screen across both of these. So a lot more of a typical driving experience that you would have when you step into the Chevrolet EV versus something like a Tesla. One thing we always like to say is that not all EVs are Teslas and not all EVs are created equal. And so we want you to come out and buy a better EV. And that's one of the reasons why we're doing this video today is to just kind of speak to that experience of driving in an EV. Now, I have actually taken both of these vehicles home with me on test drives and considered purchasing them for myself. I just say that to say like, these are something that your regular commuter, I drive 10 to 15 miles every day to work and then drive home. So these are vehicles for your everyday commuter. You know, even if you drive, I don't know, 20 miles a day, 30 miles a day, 40 miles a day, you can still do that and charge your vehicle at home at night. So that is, that is what these cars are kind of made for. These are not made for people that are probably driving, you know, 150, 200 miles every day. All right, first let's talk about the Equinox EV. So you're gonna have a regular key fob like you would for a vehicle that you have. You can lock it, you can remote start it, you can unlock it, you can open up the tailgate. So I did wanna talk about the handles. So this is a pretty cool feature when you lock and unlock it, your handles are gonna come out or they're gonna go in. That's really awesome. The design of the Equinox EV looks like a typical SUV. It looks really sleek. I'm six foot one and I thought this was gonna be too small for me. But when I sat down, it was really quite comfortable uh, for me. I had a lot of leg room. This particular Equinox has GM Super Cruise feature in it. So, you know, we did say earlier that not all EVs are Teslas, but there are some EVs and even ICE vehicles that have this Super Cruise available from GM, which is a self-driving feature on over 200,000 roads and highways in the United States. Uh, really, we've done a lot of content on this, so go check out our YouTube channel to see exactly what Super Cruise is like. But it is, honestly, I've done it several times when I test drove this, this Equinox EV home from work one day. I did the Super Cruise on the way to and from work, and it's just super convenient. I mean, to sit there, hit a button, and be able to eat my breakfast sandwich as I'm driving into work with both my hands instead of worrying about, you know, is the cheese gonna fall into my lap and ruin my clothes or something like that. It's it's super nice to have that. So this one does have environment in, environmental controls in the front, and then it does have vents for the back. It has four USB charging ports, USB-C charging ports throughout the front and the back. Something that was interesting about this vehicle is that it does not have wireless charging. Now wireless charging, you know, some people say that doesn't charge super fast, but it is nice to have that wireless charging. There is a really large storage compartment down under in between your driver and your passenger seat. That's really nice. Opening up this Equinox, there's gonna be some, it's gonna be black seats, but there's gonna be a little red accent in there. That's really super cool. This one comes in at $50,000 uh, right now, around $50,000 right now. So come out, check this out. Check out this Equinox EV, great looking vehicle. This is one of the only midsize EVs to actually get over 300 miles of range. So I think about that and I compare that to the vehicle I currently drive now, whenever I fill up the gas tank, it has 300 miles of range. So this is no different than my internal combustion engine vehicle that I have. Now let's talk a little bit about the Blazer EV. These two vehicles are very similar. They're both on an 85 kilowatt base. So that's gonna be, you know, your max kilowatt power that you have. They both have one pedal driving. They both have regenerative braking. That's gonna give you power back into your battery as you're driving. But we did want to highlight the Blazer EV as a larger SUV for, for families. Um, also, the handles, as you can see, it's they're kind of like normal, regular handles. 
When you step into this one, you are going to have that large display screen, which is really nice. All your environmental controls right there in front of you. Neither of these vehicles have Apple CarPlay in it, but it does have Google's features in it, so that's really nice. So there's large storage space in the back of this one, of this Blazer EV. I really, I got to test drive this one home. I really like it a lot. It's a great, smooth riding vehicle. You get around 279 miles of range, 280 miles of range completely filled up. It is a little heavier, so that's why you get more range on the Equinox than you do the Blazer EV. But all in all, you can't go wrong with either of these vehicles. The Blazer EV right now, we have leases available on it for very low. And I just wanted to speak to the idea of leasing a vehicle, especially leasing an EV vehicle. A lot of people are really nervous about, oh, is, is the battery gonna blow up on me? Am I not gonna like it? Am I gonna get invested in it? The great thing about having the opportunity to lease one of these vehicles is that you can drive it for two, three years, whatever kind of you decide on the terms of the lease and see if you do like it. Um, and I know it might feel like, oh, well, you know, I'm not getting any equity in my vehicle or anything like that, but you can talk with our sales manager, with our sales consultants and our, our sales managers about the opportunity at the end of your lease to buy out the vehicle. And so it might not actually be lost equity or anything like that, but it does give you an opportunity to try out the electric vehicle, to try out what it would be like that experience for you. Both of these vehicles come with a level one charger that you can use either 110 or you can get, if you have it installed in your garage or you can have an electrician install it in your garage, they have a 220 outlet available, which the 220, the 110 gets you about maybe a kilowatt per hour of charging. So really honestly, not that much. But if you upgrade to that 220 with your electrician or if you already have it installed in your garage, you can get anywhere from like five or six kilowatts per hour of charging. So if you drive, you know, say you drive 20 miles a day to work. So if you're getting five to six kilowatts per hour, so you're only gonna need four hours to charge overnight the amount you drive to, to and from work. So definitely an option for a lot of people that we wanted to present, wanted to show off to you just what these vehicles can do and honestly where they can go. You know, we're, we're out here on a gravel road, on a back road here in outside of Hickory, North Carolina. And it, it was a smooth ride the whole way down. So, and we don't have to have range anxiety, you know? We know that we can get these vehicles where we want them to go and then back home. What's really great in both of them with Google, it was interesting as we were driving out here, you can see where your charge level will be once you arrive to your destination. And when we started driving, our charge level said we were gonna be at 56% when we arrived to our destination. As we were driving and as we were getting close to our destination, that number actually changed to 58%. So you're getting, if you use Google Maps, you're getting real live updates of how much charge you are using and how much you'll have remaining when you get to your destination. So you can kind of plan accordingly to your charge level, where you need to go, and what you need to do after that. So we encourage you to come down, test drive either of these vehicles, any of the other EVs we have on our lot. We have Hummer EVs, we have the incredible Cadillac Lyric, super beautiful, well-designed car, as well as the Equinox and the Blazer EV. Uh, we have a silver Silverado work truck EV that can tow up to 10,000 pounds, has 500 miles of, or over 400 miles of range, excuse me. And that's the highest of any EV truck that's out there. So definitely a contractor or something like that, that might be something that you're shopping for. So we have the inventory that, that you need. Um, we have the inventory that you wanna try out on this EV and, you know, test it out. We know that there's a lot of, there's a lot of, skeptics around the EV, but don't knock it till you try it, as they say. And so come on out, test drive an EV, talk to our sales consultants about your options. Uh, buying one might not be an option for you, but leasing one at a lower price, get your car payment down, something like that, save on gas, fuel for a couple years, might be a really great option for you. So come down and see us today at Everett Chevrolet. We'll see you soon.